I highly recommend that when you do a hypothesis test problem or a confidence inter problem, interval problem that you look at three distributions. Here we're considering the mean of some population. We don't know what that mean is. We take a, one sample from that population, but we think about the distribution of all samples of that particular size. So we're taking a sample of some size n, and we're thinking about the distribution of the means of all of those samples of that particular size. We know the theory says that the mean of these sample means will be, under the right conditions, will be equal to the mean of the original population. And that the standard deviation of these sample means, sometimes called the standard error, will be equal to the standard deviation of the original population divided by the square root of n. Now here's an important fact. We seldom know what the population standard deviation is. So what we do is we'll approximate this with the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that's how we get around that particular problem. Okay. Another thing that we need to keep track of is uh, the t distribution. We're going to use a t distribution instead of a z distribution usually because we're having to do this approximation. A z distribution would have a mean of zero and a standard deviation equal to one and it would be a normally distributed distribution. A t distribution uh, the area under the curve is still 1, the mean is 0, but the standard deviation is greater than 1. It's kind of squashed out a little bit more. This will help measure how many standard errors we would need to be at for certain probabilities to occur. Now these three graphs you, you should draw and keep track of where things are in those three graphs. It'll, the, in the, the follow-up videos to this, we'll look at examples uh, of each of those. Okay, end of this video.